making a dish called tofu with dried bonito flakes and I've already got the uh, I'm going to be cutting this tofu up into one inch squares and then I'll be dipping it in flour egg, egg, egg and bonito flakes and black sesame seeds so let me just go ahead and cut this up into one inch cubes um, short on time so I already got this is bonita flakes with the ses black sesame seeds that's egg that's flour so let's go ahead and cut this up into one inch cubes this is supposed to be well drained um, let me get rid of the water out of here <laughs> um, need to use this tofu up. Okay, one inch cube, so that would be about like right there, there, there. Okay. That looks like it'd be about one inch going down that way. Anyways, you see what I'm doing here. I'm going to be cutting this into one inch cubes. Okay, now I'm going to be dipping it in, um, I couldn't get it into, this is my first time making this recipe, so <laughs> we shall see. Um, now I'm going to be dipping it in uh, first the flour, then the egg, and then the bonito with the black sesame seeds. And um, then putting it over this kind of get all this over here, putting it over here, getting it ready to fry. Okay. Um. First you coat it with flour. I guess. Hmm. You know what, I think the most efficient way to do this would be to put a whole bunch of them in here. So let's, uh, uh, okay. So we're going to coat the pieces with flour. Egg. Dip it. Okay, then over here. You know what? I think I know how to do this. They all need to be coated with flour first, then we do the egg, and then I need to do them all at the same time. Okay, I'm going to do them all at the same time. I can see that's the only way that's going to work, so... I probably should have, uh... This is my first time making this, so I'm <laughs> kind of new at this. Yeah. Basically, I'm just going to kind of like swish all the flour over this way. these yeah yeah basically you're gonna have to do this all at the same time I can see this in order for this to work maybe 
Maybe I need a bigger container. <laughs> stick some of them over here. I have a better idea. When they're coated with flour, they're going over here. <laughs> so, yeah. I just need to... I gotta come up with a system here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put them over here. See, this is, like I said, this is my first time making this. <laughs> I can already tell that you got to have a good system in place for this. <laughs> All right, let's get this one coated. Worst comes to worst, I can add more flour to this thing. It says it's supposed to be well drained. I can see why now. <laughs> flower stuff is kind of tricky here. I just needed to cook this tofu because I've had it for a while, you know? <laughs> Now it needs to be coated with egg. And yeah, this step here I think I can uh, do next. Let me uh, clean my hands. All right, the next steps. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is coat each piece with egg, dip it in here, and then bring it over here. Um, you know what? I probably need another container. Hold on. Um, first time making this. It just looked interesting because I had bonito flakes that I needed to use. So, I think I need to use one hand for this then use this hand <laughs> for this. It's like you gotta be you gotta have a system going here. It's almost like I have to be ambidextrous to do this recipe here. Okay, then I'll use this hand for this. <laughs> Alright. 
See what I'm doing here? The key to this recipe is coordination here. <laughs> I got to admit, it does look intriguing, eh? And use this hand for this. See what I'm doing here? This recipe. This recipe requires requires you to be ambidextrous. <laughs> ambidextrous, I mean. <laughs> okay, over there. Oh, I'm hoping I have enough egg for this. <laughs> and it looks like I'm making a bit of a mess. All right, here we go. Right, this goes over here. Those Japanese, they come up with some pretty interesting recipes, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, put this in here. Definitely get your hands dirty on this one. This looks rather intriguing. <laughs> kind of reminds me a bit of making sushi. You know, you have to be uh, coordinated and know what, <laughs> get a system going here. Typical Japanese cooking here. But drop this over here. That's good. All right. Yeah, what, and I also, when I put the bonita flakes in here, I kind of broke them down really small so they would coat nice on the uh, tofu. <laughs> but I kind of didn't get them to quite the right size. You definitely need to use two hands for this thing. This requires coordination, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, all right, so we'll do this. And I'm going to have to clean this table real good when I'm done, too. <laughs> Start putting it over there. Yeah, so you got to use two hands because you don't want to bring the, um, the sesame seeds and stuff over this way. So, <laughs> yeah, so this hand goes over here. And then this hand here works on this. Definitely requires coordination, that's for sure. And I thought this was going to be easy. Ha! I'm not sure I have enough here. Hmm. I might have to get... Alright, that's good. get to bed or in time tonight. <laughs> All right, that's good. You know what? I think I do have enough. All right. You definitely need to be coordinated. <laughs> I think, I'm not 
not sure. They say one egg, but I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time making this. This is almost as complicated as sushi. <laughs> I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> All right. I thought I had plenty of bonito flakes and stuff. Huh? All right. I'm not sure I got enough here, man. Look at this. Too much tofu. <laughs> Let's see. Am I going to make it? <laughs> perfectly because it's like <laughs> all right all right sure here yeah. and I thought this was going to be easy <laughs> little did I know should I know Japanese cooking is never simple all right <laughs> it all up, that's for sure. All right. They weren't kidding when they said one inch. That's about the size you want. Okay. All right, that'll work. Yep. Yeah, it is about one egg. Spread it around. Two left. <laughs> okay, the last one. Wow. I gotta warn you guys. All right, the last one. Let's just get the last of the bonito and the sesame here. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Get it off my finger and see if I can get it on the. <laughs> Last 
last one's not coming out too good here. Alright, that'll just have to do. Alright, let me go clean my hands. Here. Boy, that was work. <laughs> okay, the garnish is going to be grated fresh ginger root. Let me see what size I think I'm going to use. Probably this size. I want to make sure that I don't cut my finger. So gonna, let's go this way. I'm using... Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to keep grating this till I get... Um, till I get enough for a garnish. So some of it's falling down here. <laughs> I probably should, okay, throw it down in there. Okay, let me just go ahead and work on the garnish. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, now let's go ahead and get the fry pan ready. You need a 12 inch skillet with some oil in it. Okay, two tablespoons of oil over medium heat. I'm gonna use canola. This is canola oil. Then we add the tofu and saute until brown on both sides. Let me go ahead. Kind of spread it around like so. I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit hotter. So here's the tofu that I need to add. Hmm, let's see here. It looks like it's getting uh okay. Let's see here. Okay. I think it's warm enough. You can see I'm doing this organized because I uh, I want to be able to fit it all in this pan. It's possible I should have waited a little bit longer. <laughs> I should be sizzling, you know, when I stick it in here. But it feels like it's kind of warm already, though. Yeah, it's starting to sizzle. I can hear it. Okay. I don't want to burn my fingers, though. That's one reason I wanted to do it now, because I didn't want to burn my fingers. Alright, let's go 
ahead and uh, we're going to cook it till it's brown on both sides. Yeah, I think they're basically waiting for the tofu to get brown. It's kind of hard to tell when the tofu gets brown because the bonito itself is brown. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I had some tofu and bonito that I needed to use up, so I decided to uh, try this recipe and see how it's doing here. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay here. Yep. Yeah, I can see what it's doing here. This looks like it's going to be an interesting dish. Yeah, see it's starting to brown there. Of course, it's kind of hard to tell because the bonito itself is kind of brown. basically just want to get it warm. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be interesting dish. Yeah, this is Japanese. And I will post this uh, recipe at my cookbook. We are just about done here, I can tell. Obviously with flour on there you want a bit of a crisp coating. Interesting. <laughs> like I said, this first time I've made this, so I love Japanese food. <laughs> I was raised on it. And what I think we are just about done. Of course, you want the eggs to be cooked all the way. So, make sure that's done. Ooh, this looks interesting. Yeah, once it starts cooking and the sesame is sticking to the tofu, you can kind of fling it around a little bit more. <laughs> I've noticed that. Yeah. So, in Japan, sometimes they'll eat raw eggs, so, you know. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. So I prefer my eggs cooked. <laughs> I think we're just about done here. Yeah, let me go. Oh, ah, shucks. Did you see what just happened? <laughs> it went back that way. Okay. I moved the stove for nothing. There was nothing down there. She must have used brain control on me to get me to think that. Anyways, let me test it out now. You serve this with soy sauce, ginger, and green onions. So let me test it out and I'll let you know what it's like. Oh, here's what it looks like. Okay. Here is... The final product it looks like that. Oops, I think I'm going to put more light in here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Let's go a little. Let's show you a little bit more this way. Okay, the garnishes is my my grated gingers here with some fresh green onions. Here's some kikkoman soy sauce. 
So what I'm going to do is kind of like dip it in this. It's almost like eating sushi. <laughs> the Japanese are like, they eat like this. So let's try it. Mmm, interesting. It's um definitely tastes Japanese. Mm hmm. Hmm. I like it though. So. It's good. The ginger. Gives it a nice flavor. Mm, so, mm. Tastes very Japanese. <laughs> yep. Mm. Okay. So I will be um posting this recipe. Um yeah, you dip it in the soy sauce. Let me um so you kind of like dip it in the soy sauce with the ginger and the, um, the green onions. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That definitely tastes Japanese, that's for sure.